7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig with the story for us from Westland tonight. Here in Westland is where investigators with Michigan State Police say Shadra Stiltner tried to get rid of her son's bloody clothes. Clothes investigators say she wanted someone to burn. 48-year-old Shadra Stiltner is charged with tampering with evidence and accessory after the fact. Investigators accusing her of trying to help her son get away with murder. 25-year-old Flem Stiltner IV is charged with first-degree premeditated murder in the stabbing death of his father, 48-year-old Flem Stiltner III. And now Action News has obtained details on why investigators think the killing was carefully planned out. They say they found evidence written in young Flem's own journal. On August 9th, 48-year-old Flem Stiltner III was found dead in the back of a pickup truck near Belleville Lake in Van Buren Township. And investigators say before the murder, his son came here to plan out just how he was going to get rid of the body in the water. Flem Stiltner IV then went to his father's house on South Hicks Road in Wayne and using a rear door, investigators say he went in and killed his father and drove the body to the lake, but the truck got stuck before he could put it in the water. Flem left and investigators say his mother, Shadra Stiltner, the victim's ex-wife, took a plastic bag containing her son's bloody clothes to this house in Westland where she allegedly asked a friend to burn it. The only problem, investigators say, is that man had been drinking so much that he didn't even remember he had a bag of bloody clothes until he was getting ready to take out the trash. Shadra Stiltner was later arrested. Her daughter, Megan Stiltner, is also charged, accused of bribing, intimidating, or interfering with witnesses. And what prosecutors and Michigan State Police have not revealed is a motive behind a young man murdering his father. Right now, Flem Stiltner IV is undergoing that competency evaluation. He's due back in court later this month. We will certainly keep you updated. In Westland, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim.